What's up everybody? Bubba the Third Eye Blonde Triclops here from Bubba Triclops Ballistics. Hmm. I don't know. Probably come up with a different intro for that. But uh, what I got here today is uh, some uh, product review. And I uh, just wanted to do this because uh, there's something we're going to be putting these on that we're also going to be doing a review on. And I uh, wanted to bring this to y'all's attention. A lot of the uh, people in the same you know, YouTube circles as I uh, have done reviews on these before. And uh, they seem like a good uh, good product to, to, to try out and test out on this gun particularly. So uh, go ahead and uh, show you it. Got some iron sights from Fiocchi. Fiocchi? Fiocchi? Fiocchi. Yeah, we're going to go with Fiocchi. Uh, now, these are the S27 fiber optic uh, backup iron sights with a Picatinny rail. And uh, honestly, I got to say, uh, for the price that these things are, uh, they're really well made. Um, very nice and durable. Let's go ahead and get a good picture of these. So we got the rear sight adjustable to a uh, regular peep sight for long range pretty nice pretty pretty yeah i mean you probably can't pick it up on the camera here but pretty pretty audible for the adjustments in the back sight and that uh that fiber optics is just really showing up nice but they're, they're you know they flip up iron sights so they're not anything you know too extravagant but you know, they're pretty nice actually so they got the uh little picatinny spot there in the back or on the bottom so it fit most rails and uh honestly i gotta say they're they're machined pretty well uh i want to say it's aircraft aluminum uh pretty strong pretty durable uh i mean i haven't broken it yet i break nearly everything <laughs> uh here's a good look at the front sight and that, that red shows up fairly well, actually. Uh, even in the low-lit areas, like I said, it snaps right back up. Now, this isn't a flip-up. I mean, it's flip-up, but it isn't, like, spring-loaded or anything, so you got to flip it up yourself. But, I mean, the uh, pressure switch to uh, unlock it and set it up, pretty nice. Uh, front sight's actually adjustable, but you do have to have a little bitty tool to uh, do that. Not too bad, actually. Um, yeah, seems like pretty pretty well built. Very strong, very durable. It'll be sights. So we're going to be putting this on the gun that we're getting ready to do a review on here soon. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it today or if I'm going to do it... Uh, when I get off work, because I'm getting close to uh, uh, work time right now. But, yeah, pretty nice. Came in this nice little bitty case. And, uh, you know, 3D printed case, but there's nothing really wrong with 3D printed stuff. In all honesty, I mean, they got suppressors that are working great now, so I, I don't see any need to... Uh, pick apart or extrapolate the uh, uh, 3D printing industry as uh, some of them guys come out with some pretty neat stuff especially that suppressor that came out uh, I don't remember who makes it when I, when I do I'll uh, I'll let y'all know but it also came with a tool to adjust it to adjust the pick rails on it uh, did not come with a tool for, to adjust the front sight but the back sight's pretty much the only thing you nearly, really need to worry about uh, but you know if you got the tool you can adjust these uh looks like a simple just press in on the little bit tab on the button and then just kind of swivel it uh so not too bad not too hard to adjust really intuitive actually uh and i, I like the stuff that uh, these uh, cheaper companies are coming out with stuff trying to compete with the uh higher end stuff and uh, I, I gotta i gotta honestly say uh they're doing a good job. Uh, I got nothing to complain about. Uh, and we all like to get cheaper stuff and 
you know, when you buy cheaper stuff and something goes wrong with it, I mean, you, you kind of expect it to happen. And when nothing goes wrong, you kind of impressed, you know, uh, but, uh, definitely a better alternative than Magpul. Uh, Magpul stuff tends to get expensive, especially for just two little bitty lumps of steel that, uh, yeah, uh, even a monkey could could do. I mean, I could probably make my own, but not a bad price for them. Uh, can't really say the price, but uh, <clears throat> probably about an hour or two hours of work, and you've got iron sights. So that's as close as I can get to saying the price. So yeah, guys, uh, just a small video. I'm not really trying to get too in depth into it. Uh, I wanted to get this done before uh, uh, before work. So, Fiachi, if you watch this for whatever reason, kudos. Good job. I like a lot of your products and stuff, and uh, this is going to be another one. Now, listen, again, I paid this out of pocket. This isn't something they, they gave me to try out or anything like this. So, full disclosure, this is something I, I, I bought with my own money uh, to try out. So... Yeah, full disclaimer. Um, but yeah, guys. As always, stay safe. Stay armed. Stay two-way strong. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Keep getting at it, brothers and sisters. Keep getting at it.